It's day six of Oscar Pistorius' trial in the North Gauteng High Court, and what an interesting day it's been. I'm joined by our special correspondent, Sipo Longwane, who's in the overflow room at court. Sipo, thank you for joining us. Thanks. Now, as I sit here in our studios in Cape Town, I actually have no idea what's going on in court, and you, being in court, aren't allowed to tell me anything. Strange, right? <laughs> Yes, it was quite a strange ruling that we had this morning from Judge Masipa. Basically, um, Dr. Ged Simon, the pathologist who examined Riva Steenkamp's body, asked that absolutely none of his evidence be broadcasted because he said it was too sensitive for it to, to go out on, on broadcast media. But Masipa then expanded the judgment um, and it, it now includes uh, any live updates on blogging, so Twitter is not allowed anymore. Um, it, 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 it's quite a strange ruling because it's not quite clear um, exactly where and how far the ban runs because, uh, you know, uh, summaries after the fact are allowed. But, you know, you could argue that Twitter is a form of summarizing what is happening before us. So I think uh, it, it's, it's quite strange. The effect it's had, I feel, is that it's, it's, it's sort of chilled the reporting that's coming out of the case. Journalists aren't quite sure, um, you know, how far they're allowed to go or what, they, the, what they're allowed to say. We are. We're sitting in a time of absolute confusion at the moment. What was the reaction of the journalists in the courtroom? I think I was just concerned that this might lead to uh, future cases of the state effectively censoring, uh, you know, any proceedings from a court. Um, the, the problem is the way that the, the ruling was framed. By banning any publication for the sake, uh, you know, at the request of the state or the request of a defense team, this effectively allows the same argument to be made in any future case. But the way that court works is that as long as, as, as the judgment is not in camera, so this, this applies in cases of minors, for example, or cases of, of you know, bad sexual assault, then the, the, the broadcasting of such cases is not allowed in any case. So the, this, this almost feels like a step away from freedom of expression and, and media freedom. But uh, Masipa has, has said that uh, even though the, 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 the ban applied immediately when she gave it, she's still going to apply her mind to, uh, the, you know, to, to the arguments and, and make a further decision. One hopes that she'll be able to develop the argument further perhaps and perhaps lift the, 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 the restriction on the, on, on the tweeting. Because um, the advocate who argued for the media said that, look, we're not trying to live broadcast the case anyway. The problem is... Um, ordering a blanket ban on any evidence that comes out. For all we know, uh, you know, Simon might say things that are absolutely not sensitive, uh, you know, and then things that could go go, go out in in in, in you know, on television or on live audio. But on the other hand, in a way, this is Reva's day in court, the day that she would never have had, um, and the information coming out of court at the moment, I'm presuming, is rather sensitive. It is, it is very gruesome evidence and uh, I mean, I, I, I suppose I can tell you about the reaction of Pistorius himself. Uh, last week he was just dry heaving, now he's gone the full act and you can see that it's incredibly traumatic for him and uh, you know, to be honest, even as someone who's covered traumatic incidents in the past, it's not a nice thing to hear. I, I personally am glad that we're not allowed to, to discuss the actual details of the autopsy report. So Sipo, I guess the only thing I can ask you is, what can you tell us? <laughs> I suppose that until Dr. Simon steps down, not much really. I can sort of try and talk around the issue. It's, you see, this is the problem with the judgment that's not very clear. You don't know if, if what can I discuss, what can't I discuss, at what point will I overstep the mark and then have the judge come down on me like a sack of bricks, you know. It's not very clear. So I think until it's, it becomes clearer... I suppose I'll wait for someone else to step over the line to see where it actually is. But the bottom line at the moment is Oscar Pistorius is really taking strain um, in his seat, being physically ill and having to be comforted by his family at this point. Absolutely, yeah. Um, he, he's definitely taking heavy strain over this. And, and, and you know what, um, so are the families of, from both sides of, the, of the, the family members that are in court today. Well, Sipo, we wish you the best of luck as court progresses. I'm sure you're going to need it, and we look forward to chatting to you tomorrow.